Well, good morning. This is Wayne with Specialized Maintenance, Awning, Cleaning, and we do do some minor repairs. And today we're going to do a minor repair. Just so you know, we're in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex here in Texas. And I've been involved in awnings for over 20 years. My little niche is awning, cleaning, and doing minor repairs. I'm not sure if you can see this. I'll walk up the ladder here. But we have a, well, this awning's got lots of lichen on it and mold and mildew, but the real issue today is the seam that has separated. Now that we're up here, I'll show you the seam that has opened up. And water goes in and as it rains and stuff. These other seams are not far from going. But they've asked me just to repair this one seam today. It could also use some cleaning. Probably it could actually use a new awning, but uh, we're just gonna do what they ask us to do and that's repair the seam. The thread on this is just rotted out. You can see it doesn't exist anymore. Um, on the bottom, you can still see that the thread exists, but on the top, it's just rotted out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair this seam. It won't take a long time. The weather's not ideal. It's got a bit of mist in the air, and it's about 45 degrees. I prefer to have a sunny day and at least be above 50 degrees, but we work with what we got, and that's what we've got. We've got our truck here, some lumber. You'll see what we do with that in a little while. But let me get started on it. I'm going to place a piece of lumber underneath this awning on this uh, awning rafter and that's going to give me a, a place to to seal the awning and you'll see what I mean as I work on with this. All right I'll get back to you shortly. Well I'm back underneath the awning now and I've had a chance to put a piece of wood where that seam is and I've zip tied it on so that it doesn't fall off during our initial stage here. You can see that this has zip ties holding the awning to the frame. There's one missing here. This is an older awning and um, you can see the zip ties are broken here. So we'll throw a few of those on to, to keep the awning from coming off. Let me back it up so you can see. So I'm going to get started, but this will allow me to have a place that I can uh, use my staples. I'm actually going to use glue and staples today to uh, put this awning seam back together. I'll show you that as I progress. All right, I've now placed glue, as you can see here, along the old seam, and I'm going to staple it in, and I'm going to use staples to hold it in place. You can see the wood behind it, and that little bit of black with the zip tie. So let me go ahead and staple it in. And I'm going to show you how that is done. All right, I have this little piece of blue tape there to remind me where I stopped the glue. And you can see I put some staples in it. And here's some ooze out from that glue, which once it dries, about 10 minutes easier to get off than to let it harden. And what I like to do is just press it to make sure we've got it spread out. Well, we're going to work our way up to the top of the awning. Well, I'm back. I've now got this whole seam glued and stapled to hold it in. I've got to let it sit now about an hour before I pull the staples out. I wasn't quite able to reach that last foot or so, so I had to go from underneath the awning and apply the, the glue from that side. But this gives you a pretty good idea. I have a little ooze out here, which is, uh, unfortunately, sometimes happens. Uh, doesn't look real bad, but uh, it keeps that seam together. Well, we'll show you the final awning after we pull the staples out. All right, I've been here about an hour to an hour and a half, and I've done the repair. And here it is, it's completed. Um, of course, on the edge here, we still have the uh, algae growing and the mold and the mildew and the lichen. There's quite a thing there, but uh, 
their main concern was fixing this seam and we've done a fairly good job. Um, this isn't the best weather as I mentioned earlier for that. I like to be at least 60 degrees and the sun shining but that wasn't possible. But uh, I guarantee my seams for at least 90 days and I've had many of them in the field lasting for six years now. So the product does work. It's, I sell it as a temporary solution but it, it, you know awnings don't last forever depends on the situation but awnings usually last seven to ten years and I'm sure these are at least ten years old but we've given a little more life in this awning and that's what we'd like to do um, but eventually they will have to get new awnings because these other seams here we're going to go they have other awnings down the way but uh, we got this one fixed for them let me show you from underneath it I'll have to come off the ladder if you ever have a, a problem like this, give me a call. I can help you. I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, but if you're not in my area, give me a call and maybe I can give you some explanation on how this is done. Well, there we go. It's right on the other side of this uh, bar. Um, it's called an awning rafter. But you can see it's, it's a nice job. I even replaced some of the zip ties that were missing. So we've got that fixed for him. Well, this is Wayne with Specialized Maintenance, Awning Cleaning and Repairs here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Thank you for viewing the video, and as always, have a great day. Bye-bye now.